What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. Today's going to be a product review. It's going to be the Davidson Defense 16-inch Air 15 upper. Full disclosure here, I did reach out to Mega Tactical and they were kind to send this out for me to do a review, so I greatly appreciate it. I do like to notify my viewers of where I get my products from and my relationship with companies. So there it is. I did reach out to them and they were kind to send this out. So I greatly appreciate it. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description box below in my link tree. That way they know that I sent you guys. Anyways, today's just going to be an overview video of this. I'm not going to do any shooting or accuracy test with this. That'll be in my next video. But without further ado, let's jump down closer and take a look at this Air 15 upper. All right, brought you guys a little closer. Again, this is the Davidson Defense 16 inch Air 15 upper. This one did come in the kit minus the low receiver. So it came with the upper lower parts kit and also the stock. I'll go all that over here in a bit here. But anyways, again, this is the 16 inch reed upper. Starting from the top here, as you guys can see, it is not a standard A2 birdcage flash hider. This is the CAC Industry Big Hole Break threaded in one half by 28. I really like that, that this came with the upper just because a lot of uppers do come with a standard A2 bird cage and this comes with a muzzle brake. I do like shooting with muzzle brakes just because it tames the recoil a little bit. Although 223556 does not have a lot of recoil, but I like a flash shooting gun. So greatly appreciate that they included this in the package. So the brake here does have two large ports on each side. You guys can see here, bottom is flat. That way it won't kick up any dust and the top has two holes. So I've not shot this yet, but from what I've heard, this does tame the recoil and makes their rifle a lot flatter when you shoot it. All right, and then the barrel here is their government profile M4 barrel extension. This is their 1 in 8 twist 5.56, and it's made here in the USA. This does have a standard low profile gas block with a carbine gas system. I'm not sure if it's staked or anything. I did not take a look at it yet. So debating if I want to take this all apart because they assembled it for me. So I'm pretty sure everything is in spec. Moving back here is just a standard barrel nut without timing marks. I do like these better than the timing marked ones just because these ones you can tighten it down a spec and put your handguard on. You don't have to worry about timing this to match your gas tube to your barrel nut and then put your handguard on. Again, this is the government profile. So the material they use is 4150 CMV and it's also nitrated finish. Again, like I mentioned, I did not shoot this yet. I just took it out of the box. I've had it for a couple weeks now, just haven't got a chance to hit the range yet. The weather's been kind of crappy. So hopefully soon I'll take this out to do an accuracy video and then I'll do an update on that. Moving to the handguard here is a 15 inch M-Lock handguard. And this is their own design from Davidson Defense. It's relatively pretty light, which is what I like. I wanted a lightweight Air 15 build. Starting from the front here, you do have M-Lock at the three, six and nine position. And it runs the whole length of the rail until the last like two inches or so. I did put my old set of Midwest Industries iron sights on there. It does not come with that. Everything you see minus this comes with the package. Picatinny rail on top. I do like that they made some cuts up here to lighten the weight of this. Seems like a lot of companies are going this route just because a full Picatinny rail that has full material, a lot of people don't use. They rather prefer this for a lighter weight build. I do like the cutouts here, just weight savings, and it looks pretty cool. Again, this is the clamp-on style, so you don't have to worry about timing this onto your upper receiver. You just torque on your barrel nut, put this on, and you're good to go. Anyways, plain and simple, this handguard works. Again, 15-inch Davidson Defense handguard. Fin finish on this is actually really good, being that this is only a sub $400 kit. Moving back, this is Davidson Defense's mil spec upper. Again, Midwest Industries flip up iron sights. These do not come with the kit, but I threw them on there just because I have them laying around. I do have a video on these. If you guys haven't seen it, check out my video list. Really good set of iron sights for the money. Anyways, back to the upper. This is made out of 7075 T6 aluminum, so it's a little stronger than the other materials that other companies use. And it's a flat top receiver. It is not marked. I do prefer uppers that are marked because I've run a lot of quick disconnect optics and with the numbering system on there, it makes it a lot easier to put it back on in the same place. You have a standard dust cover, shell deflector, forward assist. I do like my A15s with forward assist just because I do use it. Yes, I use forward assist. Anyways, back here, standard mil spec charging handle, nothing special, it works. And inside here, we'll go over the Little carrier group here in a bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but inside of here is your standard M4 feed ramps, and it's machined really well and it matches up to the low receiver perfectly. Gas tube in there looks to be straight. Machining on this is actually really good again for the money. I don't see any tooling marks or anything. Fit and finish is really good. Of course, back here where the charging handle latches onto, you are going to get some wear marks. That's the nature of the Air 15. 
because that's a moving part. But that's it for the upper. Again, CAC Industries. Muzzle brake, 16 inch government profile barrel, carbine length gas tube, and a 15 inch M lock handguard. So, moving to the bulk hair group, standard mill spec. First thing I always look at is the staking, and on this, it's staked really well. Again, for being a budget upper, this here is staked really well. Then it's got these ridges here for the Ford Assist. And we'll take this apart here and we'll show the bolt. It does have the standard cotter pin that holds the firing pin in place. What I realized is the firing pin is not the standard, I don't know if, what type of coating is, but a silver colored firing pin. This is all black. I don't know what coating this is, but hopefully this holds up well. All right, so I do have the bolt taken out of the bolt here itself again. M16, M4, bolt carrier group. Inside is not chrome lined. It's just all coated. Again, fit and finish on this looks to be really, really well. Everything's machined really well. No machining marks. There's been a lot of Air 15 bolt carrier groups that I've seen that has a lot of machining marks and this one here i think seems to be nice fit and finished so here's the bolt itself it is mpi magnetic particle inspected i always try to get bolt carrier groups that are mpi just because they go the extra step to make sure everything is up to spec standard gas rings here the extractor seems to be relatively pretty well machined we'll take this apart here to see how the extractor looks like so it does have a spring in there with an o-ring Again, this is going to be one of the parts that I also look at and make sure that there's no stress cracks, no nothing like that. And from what I can tell, this is really well machined. And the bolt here again, no machining marks at all. Extractor here looks to be good, so we'll put this back together. But yep, that is it for the bulk care group. I know this is going to be a boring video, but I just want to show you guys the Davidson Defense upper that they sent me. Just my initial impressions on it, just looking at the overview of the build quality, etc. Again, I'll be doing a separate shooting video on this. So keep an eye out for that in the near future. Again, like I mentioned, this was a kit, so it came with everything besides the stripped lower receiver here. This is from Wilson Combat. Shout out to them for doing great support of the channel. Again, Davidson Defense, they have a lot of different build kits that you can choose from. This one came with the Magpul MOE stock, which is what I run on all my Air 15s. Really good stock. Locks up really, really nice. Key mounting point here. I do like the angle of this. A little more natural feeling on your shoulder. Davidson Defense also has the standard mill spec buffer tube, castle nut, buffer, buffer spring, retainer, and a mill spec trigger. I did put a Timney Amidextrous safety selector on here, 45 degree, because I run those on all mine, but this does come with a standard safety selector. Standard A2 pistol grip. I uh, will be swapping this out for the Magpul MOE Grip Plus. I do like running those a lot better than this one, but this will do for now. This did come with a trigger guard, which is really nice. Kind of looks like the Magpul one. Again, standard mill spec trigger. We're gonna go over the trigger pull here shortly and all your stock internals from Davidson Defense. So we'll be using a Lyman trigger gauge for the trigger pull here. Again, the weapon is clear, nothing in the chamber, no magazines around. 5.5. Four point two eight four point thirteen three five point one oh. We'll do one more pull here. with an average of four pounds, 11.7 ounces. So roughly a five pound trigger, which is what I expected of a mil spec trigger here. This is a lot lighter than some triggers that I've seen. A lot of mil spec triggers I've ran in the past are roughly in the seven to eight pound range. This one here is not too bad. So I'll use my thumb here. It does have this little creep here. I've been used to shooting Timney triggers for a while now. So this is gonna feel different for me, but anyways, I'm gonna have just a little bit of slack there. And it's kind of mushy, but it's not too bad, I guess. And then there's the brake. And then reset. And then brake. So again, nothing to write home about, but it's your standard mill spec trigger. It's gonna work for what it is. I'll be dropping a Timney in this one as soon as I get another one, but we'll jump up top and get my final thoughts on the initial impressions on this 
upper. All right, so we're back up top again. This is the 16 inch reed upper kit. Again, it comes with the buttstock, all your parts for your lower. The one thing you really need is a strip lower. One thing I forgot to mention is you can actually have them assemble this for you. It's an extra charge, otherwise they can send everything for you. You can assemble it yourself. The filter is pretty simple to assemble yourself, but if you want it completed, it's only, I think, an extra 40 to 50 bucks to have them assemble it for you. And that's what I chose for this one. Came fully assembled. The only thing that I had to assemble myself was a lower, which is really, really simple. Again, I do apologize. This is not a shooting video, but I just want to show you guys what I got in the mail and what you guys should be expecting in some future videos. Been doing an accuracy test with this, hopefully within the next week. Haven't got a chance to hit the range yet. This week is the only week that has been decent for weather past few weekends have been rain and really cold and i didn't want to go outside again and davidson defense reed complete kit running under 400 bucks so that's quite a steal like i said it came with everything you can pick up a strip lower relatively pretty cheap and you can actually build an air 15 for under 500 bucks which in this day and age is a steal just because parts have been skyrocketing but davidson defense is known for their budget line of builds of air 15s and to be honest a lot of people are going to want to stay in the budget game because they'd rather spend whatever they can on an upper or lower stock and the rest on ammo and train so if you guys are in the market for an air 15 or any A15 parts, check out Omega Tactical. Again, I'll leave a link in the link tree description below. I can't link it directly to them because YouTube is really strict on linking links to gun parts, 2A items, etc. Go ahead and check them out. They sell anything from Air 15 uppers to parts to anything that you need to complete a build. Really good company, really good communication. Again, huge shout out to Ethan at Omega Tactical. He's been nothing but great, really responsive in emails. I'll also be doing a giveaway at 3,000 subscribers. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, also that notification bell. Share, like, comment this video. Again, 3,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway. I don't know what I'm gonna give away yet, but it's gonna be something 2A related. It could be an optic, it could be a set of iron sights, it could be some magazines, it could be a stock, it could be anything. Once I hit 3,000 subscribers, I'll let you guys know, when, or once I get close. But anyways, that concludes today's video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, be safe, everyone.